premenstrual dysphoric disorder, PMDD. That's the topic for today. And for those of you that have it, it can be devastating. But I'm going to tell you, even though this is a major problem for people, if you understand what's going on, it is so freaking easy to get rid of. All right, what is PMDD? It's a severe form of PMS. You have bloating, headache, breast tenderness, and anxiety, depression, and a lot of other symptoms. Now, the medical profession is treating this sometimes like a mental disorder. It's in the DSM-5, which is the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, which to me is just a bunch of descriptive terms for symptoms of PMS. And premenstrual dysphoric disorder sounds very, very scientific, but the whole goal is to get someone to manage it. And then you have these support groups, right? I used to, when I was in practice, I did all these different um, seminars at different support groups, the fibromyalgia support group, the chronic fatigue syndrome support group, the arthritis support group, the peripheral neuropathy support group. And I always hated going to these groups because it was really weird. You would do a demonstration on someone, you'd get instant results, and you would think everyone would just line up and want help. But it was very strange. A lot of these people in this group got very upset when you got rid of their problem. I don't know if that ever happened to you where you try to help someone and they actually might get upset when you try to help them. So I always made it a policy that I'm only gonna help people that want help. And if you're watching this video, obviously you click the button and you want help. But then you go research on Kindle to find these books on PMDD and they're just filled with information but no really good information that's going to correct things. It's all on how to live with the problem more comfortably. But the question is, how do we correct this? So what's going on? Well, you have a hormonal imbalance situation. Usually you have this estrogen dominant situation, but it's really not an estrogen dominant problem. Estrogen is low, but progesterone is severely low, giving you the appearance of an estrogen dominant because of the ratios. Both estrogen and progesterone work reciprocally, just like potassium and magnesium. So if you have too little of one, the other one's going to appear to be more dominant. So here's what you need to do. Number one, you need to avoid all dairy, milk, cheese, yogurt. Completely eliminate this because that can actually throw off your hormones. All right, number two, you need to start consuming cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables have a lot of phytoestrogens in them, which help to regulate your estrogens. So if you're lacking some of the good estrogens, it'll give you more of that. If you have too much of the bad estrogen, it will lower that. Or you can take a product called DIM, which is a concentrated version of a certain phytonutrient in cruciferous vegetables. All right, number three, sea kelp. Sea kelp is awesome for estrogen problems. It's really magical for things like fibrocystic breast problem or breast tenderness, but the iodine in sea kelp helps to regulate imbalances in estrogen. All right, and number four, this is a must, vitamin D, but it's not gonna work if you take 2,000 international units of vitamin D. You need to take at least 10,000 to 20,000 IUs of vitamin D every day. Vitamin D is a great anti-inflammatory, but it's also going to help regulate calcium and that's going to help as well. So go ahead and apply these four things and then comment down below on how fast you're able to get rid of this problem. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof Your Immune System. It's a free course. I want you to take it and here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before